Broken windows, barbed wire, graffiti. One look at this building off of 1960 and you know it's a problem. It houses uh, quite a few homeless people. Not only that, but residents in the area say this building is extremely dangerous. Criminal activity going in and on during, inside of the building with drug sales. We had people sleeping in the building, building fires, uh, uh, gang activity going on. Mary Joseph says they have been trying to get it removed for the last 15 years. She says when a violation would happen, they would contact the health department and then they would only band-aid the problem. Within a day or two after that, you know, band-aid compliance was done, the building would be broken into again. So it was a very vicious cycle. Just this year, they finally organized a grassroots effort. A petition was signed, but then COVID-19 hindering their efforts. Every department working on this matter was too busy with COVID-related issues. So it was not really the time for us to go and you know, start complaining about a building when we thought that there were so many other serious situations going on with the uh, COVID outbreak. ABC 13 started digging into this issue and we heard from the Precinct 4 Commissioner's Office. They say they have been working with the County Attorney's Office to possibly file a lawsuit against the owner. But now, finally, that owner has agreed to work with them. The demolition has begun. We're told it will be complete by September 11th. A huge sigh of relief for Joseph. Just appreciate it very much because we have, this has been like a hamster wheel of a, of a project until now.